Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 214. This is the time of year when states are planning their next year's annual conference. If you need a really good Excel presentation, I'd love to do it for you next year. Today what we're going to do is work on this cell right here, cell D5. You can see it's pretty long. It's carrying over past cell or column E all the way into column F. And there are a couple of ways that we can format this differently without giving up the data we want to share in that cell. And the, the cell we're going to work with, or the icon we're going to work with, is right here. It's called wrap text. And what wrap text will do, if you click on it, we, will say, hey, I'm going to keep column D the same width as it was. But to make everything fit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the row height. Here, row 5, we're going to make this a whole lot bigger to accommodate the space here. And so we could add other data up here and make use of it. Another thing we can do is drag this out a little ways. And OK, that doesn't take quite as much space. And what we can do is maybe shrink that up, even double click it and shrink it all the way back up so that we can accommodate a little bit bigger uh, column width and a little bit bigger row height to get the information in there. And that's one way to do it. Another thing you can do, let's come back, maybe shrink this up a little bit and drag this down. So back to where we started with. If you want to control where Excel makes that line break between percent and change in 2010 or whatever, I'm going to click right here and hold down the Alt key and hit Enter. And you'll see what happens is, you know, hey, what happened in the first half of my data? And you can click this down arrow button and see that Alt Enter just puts a carriage return between your data and controls where you are. So now if I spread the data out this way, I'm always going to carriage return there. Even if I go out to here, I'm always going to have a break between 2010 and 2011. Now I can double click my way back there double click my way back here and I'm good to go. So that works and it's an easy way to accommodate a little more space here without taking a whole bunch of row height without making the column width a whole lot wider and I can present this information. I want to undo my way back something like that so I can show you one more trick. If you don't like the wrap text, I've got rid of the alt enter, that's what I did with all those undos. If you don't like that wrap text, you can always undo it by clicking the button here. So this will turn it on and off and wrap text is a good way to accommodate more information by playing a little bit with the column width, a little bit with the row height and if you want to see where it is in the format cells menu under the alignment tab it's that button right there that wraps text or that and you can turn it off. Wrap text and alt enter. Those are the two things I wanted to show you to play with cell D5 today. I guess we'll finish by wrapping it more or less the way we wanted, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.